everybody. Welcome to another installment of Unsucky Sunday, hosted by the D-Pad. This video is going up a little bit later than we intended, but that's because we spent so long last night sifting through the 55 entries that you guys submitted in order to pick the top five of the week. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right to it. This is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> First up is Beatnik AU with Trials Fusion. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. Let's face it. Now and then, you just need a video that's fun. Oh, come on. Let's just keep doing this. <laughs> uh, super metal, yeah. Alright, I'm determined to get something better than that now. Beatnik spends the episode playing through some of the user-created maps for Trials Fusion. And for what it's worth, these maps are pretty creative. He made some good choices and uh, wants to show off for everybody. There you go. Oh, shit. Now, he made a good choice in not playing the incredibly difficult, hardest possible maps to play, because one of the hard things to do in a Let's Play is play something that's really challenging while still being an interesting commentator. You need to be able to play well and speak well. Now, there wasn't a ton of commentary, he wasn't speaking the entire time, but this is one of those games where it's not really necessary. The action of the game gets you invested, and his commentary keeps you there. Whoa! What? <laughs> you're looking for a video that's just fun to watch, fun to listen to, maybe you'll find some maps that you want to check out yourself, and absolutely check out Trials Fusion. Yeah! Alright, that was cool. Holy hell. Oh, shit. Uh, so we already lost the guy. Next up is Roland's Let's Plays with Arma 2, Operation Arrowhead. So, he actually got hit, I don't know from where. I don't know if I can drag him, I should be able to. I'm gonna drag him over here, cause, uh, I don't know where that came from. And I'm gonna give him first aid so we can get back on his feet. I have no idea where any of that fire just came from. I uh, was not really paying attention. So that guy's still fighting. Uh, Mr. first aid so this guy can get back on his feet. Our Humpy is back there shooting at somebody. So hopefully I don't see that guy just take a bullet in the head right now. Now, none of us here at the D-pad really play any war or first-person shooter games for the most part. So the content of this game, unlike Trials Fusion, wasn't as directly interesting to us. But the commentary that Roland brings to the table kept us interested for way longer than we thought we were going to. Honestly, starting out the video, the first thought in our minds was, oh, it's a war game, this is probably not going to be so great. But the commentary that Roland brought to the table was not only interesting and engaging, but it was also excited. It was informational. There was a lot for us to take in if we weren't directly interested in the war game itself. We discovered a little bit more about the Arma series and about the tactics that go into playing the game. Roland's Arma 2 video was definitely the biggest surprise to us. We didn't come into this expecting to really like this video, and it wound up pretty easily being in our top five. Okay, return to base. Sweep one out. Blow up. Wait, what? Do we have to blow it up? <laughs> Why does it say blow up and then that's it? Okay, I see, like, that was totally confusing. Um, the radio commands kind of got jumbled and stuff there. And I guess that's the end of the mission. Um, so, I mean, that was a nice short mission. My name is Rhapsody, and we're stranded. This is a new game by Peter Moorhead. It's an, a sort of a retro adventure point and click. I've played absolutely none of it so far. As far as I understand, we're an astronaut, and we are stranded on a planet. So let's try and get into it. Next, we have Rhapsody with Stranded, a brand new indie title that... Even though, by watching this video, you know, you, you'll see the beginning and the end and everything, you still just want to get into an experience for yourself. The atmosphere of the game is just amazing. The art style, for one, is just awesome. God damn. I am in love with this art style, officially. I want to marry it and make love to it. Uh, your spaceship has crashed, you're wandering around this bizarre alien planet, and you're seeing these giant metal guardians everywhere, these temples that you have to unlock and understand, somehow trying to figure out this strange puzzle that impressively doesn't even require you to know what puzzle it is you're solving. Ooh. This is different. You discover a temple that, on approach, begins glowing. Ah, oh, it's activated. So naturally, you seek out more temples to do the same. Yeah, that's definitely a map. 
Here, there's the H, there's the O. It fills in the one that you're currently in. That's the cave, cave left, cave right. And the ship, which we came down through the cave, so it looks like that's not directly attached. Even though you don't know what you're doing, you still feel compelled to do it. And Rhapsody brings us along for the ride. Oh, Metal Guardian! You're back! Save me! I need oxygen! He himself isn't really sure of what's going on, and at the end of the game, when we discover what these temples were really for... That Metal Guardian full-on samurai jacked it. He seems about as surprised as we are. I won't spoil it, you can go watch the video or play for yourself. What on earth am I supposed to do with that information? Why are you not glowing, H-Head? Hey, H-Head! We had an agreement vis-a-vis -vis glowing. We did have one gripe with this video, and that is that the pacing is kind of slow. No but granted, that's not Rhapsody's glow. fault, and he too acknowledges that the walking is a little bit tedious. Okay, so that one's already activated. Come on... Let's get there! But for a blind run of this game, you couldn't ask for more. Go check out Rhapsody, and go check out Stranded as well. It looks pretty awesome. It's a fun little experience. I absolutely adore the art and the background music, and hopefully, you've been enjoying yourself. Uh, I actually saw a thing the other day that had like the ages of all the Disney princesses. Guess how old Jasmine is? In the movie? Yeah. 18. 15. What? <laughs> Oh, that makes me feel gross. Yay. Next, we have the classic oh, SNES title, Aladdin, as played by Game Plus. I didn't want to interrupt the cold open to comment on it, but can we just hear that intro music again? What? God damn, that's good stuff. The chemistry between these guys is fantastic, and while one is playing, the other is commenting in a way that is both productive and funny. Watch a boo. Wow! <laughs> Alright, they're not distracting themselves from the game to make the joke, but they're also not so heavily invested in the game that they can't make commentary. Until, he's, until he gets drunk and he starts telling racist jokes. Oh my god, Abu! <laughs> Stop! I told you! <laughs> I can't take you into public! <laughs> it is a perfect balance of watchable material and listenable material. The two are put together so well in this video, it was unbelievable. It was worth the back then. Gold is, like, the only thing that's worth anything anymore. And so that would be, like, a uh, bajillion dollars. what else dollars. is in the Middle East that's worth something? Uh, human lives. Well, yes. Plus, maybe you'll learn a little too much about funky politics and cat penises. Prince Eric is oh. apparently, like, everybody's favorite Disney prince. I think he's just your favorite. No, I actually, think that's what he's that kind of not. Who is? <sighs> Simba. If we're Adult talking... Simba, let's not be gross. <laughs> With the hooked penis. Uh, but what? don't lions have hooked penises like wolves? I don't know if they do, true. I don't want to know that. <laughs> no, don't Google it. Don't find it. There's some hooked things we don't need penis. to know. <laughs> Lion King plus hooked penis. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's there's rule 30, 40, 30, 39... Hot, hot, hike! <laughs> I saved it. Seriously, these guys were hilarious, and all we wanted to do when it was done was watch more. So go check out Game Plus right the fuck away. I can't. Oh my god, in one try? Are you serious? Wow. What the hell's wrong with you? I'm amazing! Well, you're gonna continue to be amazing. Next, god, you did that fast. That was like a minute. <laughs> also, how many red gems? Show me red gems! Oh! Well, Megan's gonna continue to just dominate this game. Bow down to my Aladdin <laughs> skills! <laughs> Next time. Hello, it's Ryan from Bad Day Let's Play. Hey guys, this is Corey from Bad Day Let's Play, and today we're going to be playing... Dungeon Nightmares. Dungeon Nightmares. And last but not least, we have Bad Day Let's Play with Dungeon Nightmares. Alright, this is a great video. We're God <laughs> damn it! Okay! I don't, don't, don't want to play anymore! We're safe. I don't want to play anymore! That don't was good enough! Good. It's a particularly gripping experience with a game that's quite new. Dungeon Nightmares has you walking around trying to get papers of some kind while dodging all the weird paranormal stuff that's happening in there. At first it seems like your standard jump scares, things on the screen, things running out at you, possible hallucinations. Holy <laughs> horse! <laughs> it's just like oh, freaking, freaking Vanish. What are you freaking out about? Oh, I pulled the bustle. 
But as the game goes on, it also gets more creative with its ways to fuck with you, as well as more aggressive. Hold on, turn around! Turn around! Turn around! Oh, I'm done. Turn! Keep going that way! I'll be honest, the first time I watched this, I had to avert my eyes because I just don't deal well with jump scares. So I focused on the bottom corner here, looking at these guys, and realized that I was having just as good a time watching their reactions as I was to the video itself. I don't want to fucking play anymore. I'm done. This is the last day. I can't take it. Turn left. <laughs> this is the last day. I'm not doing it in another one. <laughs> I'm done with this game. This is the last day. I don't I care. I need to see it. Oh, what's wrong? I'm done. I'm done. It's fine. Stop it with the map, man. I am done, man. I'm done. I can't do this, man. I'm having a fucking panic attack. This is a perfect example of when to use face cam effectively. These guys are reacting to the game in a way that is so funny that I started to forget I was watching a horror game. You're not having a panic attack. I am fucking too. <laughs> if you need to stop saying, we will take a break. I'll do this last day and that's it. You're never going to see me playing Dungeon Nightmare, so you should head over to Bad Day Let's Play and watch their series right away. Yes! Yes! Go! Get the chest. No! Just go! Get Just get I fucking hate your guts! <laughs> get in there! We need to, <laughs> we need to collect things. If you want to check out the five winning videos, click the links right here and it'll take you right to them. You can also check out the other 50 videos in our Unsucky Sunday playlist. And as a bit of a shameless plug, the D-Pad's Twilight Princess series starts today. And tomorrow we have our first Pokemon X versus Pokemon Y battle. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. See you guys next week. Up more, up more. There we go. What? <laughs> you fucking bird bitch.